First up, we've got x cubed equals 27. To make this easier to work with, let's shift that 27 over and turn it into a proper polynomial equation. So we subtract 27 from both sides and get x cubed minus 27 equals zero. Bam! Now we're looking at a cubic equation, which is super cool because it can have up to three solutions. Some might be regular numbers, some might be those fancy complex ones, but we're gonna hunt them all down. Our game plan is to factor this equation so we get a quadratic to play with, since that's the star of the show today. Let's keep the momentum going. Now, let's take a closer look at x cubed minus 27 equals zero. Hmm, does anything jump out at you? Check this out. 27 is three cubed, right? Because three times three times three equals 27. So we can rewrite our equation as x cubed minus three cubed equals zero. This is like a neon sign flashing difference of cubes. You ever come across that? It's like a secret weapon in algebra. The formula for a difference of cubes, a cubed minus b cubed, is open parentheses a minus b, close parentheses, times open parentheses a squared plus ab plus b squared, close parentheses. Sweet, right? Here, a is x and b is 3. Let's plug those in. x cubed minus 3 cubed becomes open parentheses x minus 3 close parentheses times open parentheses x squared plus x times 3 plus 3 squared close parentheses. Simplify that second part. x times 3 is 3x and 3 squared is 9. So we've got open parentheses x minus 3 close parentheses times open parentheses x squared plus 3x plus 9 close parentheses. Awesome. Our equation is now open parentheses x minus 3 close parentheses times open parentheses x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. This is gold because we've got a linear factor x minus 3 and a quadratic factor x squared plus 3x plus 9. Since we're all about that quadratic life today, we'll dig into that soon, but let's not sleep on that linear factor just yet. When two things multiplied equal zero, at least one of them's gotta be zero. So we'll solve both to get all our solutions. All right, let's tackle the easy one first. That linear factor, x minus three equals zero. This is like the warm up pitch. Solve for x, add three to both sides, and we get x equals three. Let's double check to make sure it's legit. If x is three, then three cubed is three times three times three, which is 27. Nailed it. That fits x cubed equals 27 perfectly. So x equals 3 is one of our solutions, and it's a real number, which is super straightforward. But since we're dealing with a cubic equation, we're expecting up to three roots. So let's move on to that quadratic factor to find the others. Here's where we roll up our sleeves. We've got the quadratic factor, x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation, so we're going to bust out the quadratic formula to solve it. You know this one, right? For any quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, the solutions are x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let's figure out our a, b, and c from x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals zero. The coefficient of x squared is 1 so a equals 1. The coefficient of x is 3, so b equals 3, and the constant is 9, so c equals 9. First, we need the discriminant. That's b squared minus 4ac. Let's crunch it. b squared is 3 squared, which is 9. Then 4 times a times c is 4 times 1 times 9, which is 36. So 9 minus 36 equals negative 27. Whoa, a negative discriminant. That means our roots are going to be complex, not real. No sweat. We got this. Plugging into the quadratic formula, x equals negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 27 all over 2 times 1, which is just 2. Now, square root of negative 27 is square root of 27 times i, since i is the square root of negative 1. Simplify square root of 27, that's square root of 9 times 3, which is 3 times the square root of 3. So square root of negative 27 
is 3 times the square root of 3 times i. Our formula becomes x equals negative 3 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 3 times i all over 2. Break it down, x equals negative 3 over 2 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 3 over 2 times i. That gives us two roots, x equals negative 3 over 2 plus 3 root 3 over 2i, and x equals negative 3 over 2 minus 3 root 3 over 2i. These are our complex roots, and they're looking pretty sweet.